The number of electric vehicles increases day by day. The growing number of electric vehicles leads also to a rising risk of emergencies for firefighters. Hence, we would like to know, how effective does the e lanze from Mura Feuerschutz extinguish fire in burning electric cars? We are in northern Germany at the crash test facility of Dekra in order to find the answer. We simulate a crash by damaging the battery box with a kind of nail. The car we use in this experiment is a Volkswagen ID3. Die Brandbekämpfung beginnt jetzt erstmal mit der konventionellen Löschung. Die Elefanten sind vorbereitet und die Brandbekämpfung hat jetzt begonnen. Die Löschlanze, die Löschlanze aufdrehen. Ja, At the end, we summarize the following facts. Firefighters can use their classical procedures to extinguish the flames coming up from the battery box. Our Elöschlanze is ready to be used with just a few easy steps. The tires of the car have been destroyed quickly within about two minutes. 
It's important to know that the ID3 has no spring displacement anymore. Now the car is nearly flat lying on the ground. This doesn't allow firefighters to work underneath the car with any lifting tools. As recommended by us as a manufacturer, the extinguishing water flows even before the introduction of the Ehlerschlanze. This promotes the ventilation of flammable gases from the inside of the car to its environment. A welcome side effect. To use the Ehlerschlanze in case of emergency, you don't have to change the structure of the damaged car. You can keep the doors closed and work through a window. This provides enhanced protection for the emergency responders. In our experiment, the Ehlerschlanze is placed directly into the battery box within four strokes. Our e abstandshalter gives the firefighters enough space to work safely. Our experts didn't measure any high electric voltage caused by the battery box on our Ehlerschlanze. The temperature around the food well of the cabin was reduced from 550 degree to 90 degree within 30 seconds. The reaction inside the battery box was stopped too. Only 2000 liters of water in total were used. The fire was extinguished after just 17 minutes.